do you see yourself as a mini Mao in a cultural revolution or a Johnny <laughs> Appleseed spreading seeds across the country? <laughs> Probably. Well, I love touring across the country. I love creating things in different parts of the country and leaving that behind. I mean, there's You're a, a Johnny Appleseed. On that level, yeah. This is the Canadian not, Johnny Appleseed we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I guess so. But, uh, and it is, the and, seed and of the collective. Because if yeah, you think what you yeah. did, if you think of uh -huh. your legacy across the country, yeah. if you think of paper wheat coming out of Sa That's Saskatchewan, right, yeah. uh -huh. people saying, well, if Paul can get that going, then yeah. I can do then that. I if can you think of what happens in Codco and Newfoundland. And then there's a, uh, you know, uh, Mulgrave Road and uh, those people who yeah. actually sort of fed through the mix in certain ways. Uh, Saskatoon was one of the best places because there are certain places in the country where it's more magical. Like it can happen more in a place like Saskatoon than some other places. Like Edmonton's Toronto. pretty good in that. No, Toronto is hit and miss. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. Right. And you could probably find that at the time then it was really good for theater. There was a whole bunch of restaurants that opened at the same time and the, the, the city opened to a certain right. way and then it closes down and thinks it knows everything or is too busy imitating some other mm -hmm. structure, economic structure. So I don't know. I mean, but the town is a complete fascination all the time. Thanks, John. And I keep coming back. I know, but I keep coming back to it as the newest immigrant. I no longer take any responsibility for the city. I just look at, okay, as an immigrant, a would-be immigrant, right. I come in and it's all there for the picking. Thanks, Paul. My pleasure. That was a pleasure. Okay, Robert. That's fun. <laughs>